Welcome back, Last Request Barbecue Show. Something very special for you today. We're making bacalao. It's a Portuguese treat. I've been all through Portugal, many great cities, many great visits. My beautiful wife is Portuguese from the islands. So it's said that there are 365 different ways of making bacalao, which is basically cod. And we're gonna make a version that I think is officially known as uh, bacalao de, de, de rod, but uh, we're gonna call it, I'm gonna call it my in-laws bacalao, which is just fantastic, I love it. So, uh, not mandatory, but always uh, a great option. Enjoy some of my father-in-law's homemade wine. Uh, cheers. Um, all right, so first of all, uh, you pick up some salt cod. And this used to be hard to find. You used to have to go to a Portuguese store or a local store in your neighborhood. Now Costco actually carries some pretty great stuff. And this is what the cod looks like. You start to soak the cod in a water and uh, you soak it overnight. And you soak it overnight a couple of times. We'll talk more about that later. And then you rinse it and it expands. So I'm gonna show that to you. So now it started as that very dry looking piece of cod. Now look at it now, right? Nice, plump moist cod and that used to be that salt cod uh, before so that's soaked overnight several times put it in the fridge change the water a bunch of times with that goes just a ton of uh, delicious onions which are slow slow cooked so they're nice and very super sweet a big deal in this is eggs so we put in a dozen eggs in this case best eggs in the market Burnbury eggs fantastic fresh eggs really a simple recipe which is not unusual for Portuguese cooking, but super, super flavorful. It all comes together in this great way, and uh, we're gonna cook it today, so let's get started. All right, let's get started. So as I said, we've got this uh, wonderful cod, which is now reconstituted, and what we wanna do is just squeeze out any of the water. There we go. Give that a good squeeze, and then slice this up in as small pieces as you can. I've already started with some here. The smaller, the better. And why? Because then it absorbs more of the eggs. So this is kind of a time-consuming bit of the recipe. So it does take a bit of time. There we go. See, we you start to really cut it up in, in small little pieces, even smaller than that. Uh, so this isn't dramatically great television, but you should do this at least an hour before you start cooking. It takes a bit of time to do it right. Uh, so let's keep cutting. We'll be back in a minute. So, um, like I said, there's all kinds of different types of bacalao. There's bacalao brage, there's like 365 different types of bacalao. Make one each and every day. So there's a lot of little prep work that goes into advance of this, and then it takes some time. So bank some time. So we've got our cod all cut up. Next step is to get our onions caramelized. So I'm gonna throw a bunch of olive oil into our cast iron pan here. Make sure that's a healthy amount, by the way, once again father-in-law's red wine. I would encourage you, if you don't have a father-in-law who makes uh, Portuguese red wine, go to your local store and buy some delicious Portuguese wine. They make amazing value wine. All right, so that's heating up. So we need a dozen eggs cracked and then whisked. All right. Let's mix up our eggs here. Look at the yellow, golden yellow look of those eggs. Delicious. We're gonna mix the two together, the cod and the egg, and then we're gonna cook it in the oil that's left over from the onions. Oh, and I think our temperature is right. Now this, you want low and slow. This is not a high, high temperature, right? You want these to caramelize. Nice and gently. You know, listen, it's great to cook out here on the barbecue. Obviously, this is a meal that you can cook indoors, not on the barbecue, but boy, this, it's very aromatic. Lots of stuff coming up out of here. And uh, listen, I like cooking on the cast iron on the barbecue. It's a great way to cook outdoors. And uh, this is a perfect meal for it. So we'll let those cook away. And meanwhile, we'll get our potatoes going. So we need a bit of, oh, we we'll put some canola oil in. So we'll fill this pot up with canola oil. I'm gonna put that about halfway. There we go, about halfway. I want that to get nice and hot. We're gonna do 375, about 375, and that's where we're going to cook our potatoes. So right now we just let our onions cook slowly, loving the sound of that. Let's push that back a bit. 
and let's get the top on here because then it'll warm up a little faster in the cast iron. Push that to the back corner and we wait. All right, so the key to these is not a set and forget, right? I mean, what you want to do is make sure that uh, for a little bit they can go, but then you got to keep a close eye on these onions because you see these brown bits, that's exactly what you're looking for, but not all of them, right? So a little bit hot here and there, you move them around, sometimes rotate the pan because it's hotter at the back of the barbecue. As you can see, they're thinned out. This is about, by the way, six medium onions. I don't think I told you. So I even lift them. I use this big spatula from Lee Valley Tool because I like to lift and move them around, particularly at this point. They're starting, you know, the pan is super, super hot. And uh, now at this point, they are starting to have this beautiful caramelization, which adds so much flavor. So let's just push this to the back, finish those off. Now we're doing this. That's what's going on our potatoes. So we're gonna start managing this. So let's get this over here and move it to the front a bit because they're almost done. So the front, again, of the Crown Verity is where the hottest part is. Now let's take a temperature check on our oil. I'm looking for about 350, 375. What have we got? 340, uh, 350, 360, three, yeah, but 365. So that's just about where I want that. So let's get going with some of our potatoes. So we've sliced up some nice russet potatoes. They are sliced come sa. Nice little thin slices like this. I actually like potatoes raw. Mm mm mm. Hands up. Team raw potatoes. I love them actually. So let's get some in here now, of course. We do not want any water on these. So what I will do, use my handy dandy scoop here. Scoop these out. Make sure the water's off of them. Dry as possible, there we go. And then we will, in they go. And take your time. Cooking an oil is dangerous. You can see the action that gets going on here. I guess you shouldn't say it's dangerous, but you know, just pay attention, all right? That bubbles over if your oil is too much. Remember I put about half in? If your oil is too much, then you're gonna have a bit of trouble. There we go. That's about as many as I want in there. For now, we'll mix those up. Just be careful. And of course, remember, these potatoes coming out of there are gonna be a little cold, so they're gonna lower the temperature a bit. So let's push this back. And that should probably take about 10, 15 minutes or so Meanwhile, don't sleep on our onions over here. They're coming along quite nicely. Again, now they are on the less intense part of the temperature. And very soon, I'm actually gonna put them up here just to let them finish off, very soon. Okay, things are really moving now. What we do is we get all of our onions out of this pan, because we are gonna use this pan. They are done. Look at that delicious, mmm, perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, into here. We're gonna put some more olive oil, a goodly amount of olive oil, a couple of tablespoons. And then we put together our mixture. Potatoes are cooking up there. We got lots going on right now. So what we're gonna do, combine the two. So this is what our cod looks like all shredded. Again, as fine as possible. And a dozen burn bray eggs are going in. Let's give this another quick whisk. And then in it goes. There we go. And then we mix this all up. Now I used a dozen eggs. You could use eight and get away with this. I like it pretty eggy. If you like it less eggy, use less obviously. But as you can see, this is a lot, a lot of cod. Now it goes into the pan. Let's just put a little bit in, see how we're doing. Get that pan a little bit hotter. And then you slow cook it, moving it around a lot. So it's a great thing to do kind of in concurrent while you're making your French fries. And then what we're gonna do is layer it all in. Fries, egg, onions, and create layers. That's good, all right. So let's put this all in and we'll start mixing it up. And again, slow cooking is the solution here. Into the pan. Woohoo! That's a whole mess. Look at that. That's awesome, man. <laughs> Cook with lots of olive oil. Don't be shy. You can see that pan being hotter at the back. Characteristic of barbecue cooking. So just make sure and rotate your pan and we're going to start making the making this mixture come to life. 
Check on our potatoes here. Coming along nicely. Well, still got a ways to go for sure. You could do these in a deep fryer, of course, electric deep fryer, that would be fine as well. But for me, everything is cooked out here on the queue. Keep the heat on, let a bit of the steam get out so they don't get too soggy. And push that to the back. All right, there we go. And we cook. Okay, this is coming along well. Now, big rule of thumb here. You don't want this to stick or bake too much. You gotta really watch this and move it around. You see, it's still nice and liquidy, but around the edges, see it's starting to stick a little bit. So let's rotate our pan because it's hotter at the back. You don't want anything sticking because if it's sticking, it probably means it's overcooking just a little bit. So flip it often. I'm gonna move this over here. Now I've moved the French fry pot over to the side burner. It wasn't really getting enough heat for my liking. Okay, all right, all right, all right. It's coming together, it's coming together. We've got our first bunch of potatoes and we are going to now make our first layer. So the first thing that goes on is we're gonna put some of these potatoes in, our first layer of potatoes. There we go, first batch. Spread those around. One for the cook. Mmm. Oh, where are you? I'm you. All right. Now, let's get some bacalao. Start spreading around. A little bit of judgment here about how much goes on. Goodly amount. And then about a third of our onions. Because if all goes well, we'll have three layers. Love the onions, they are perfectly, perfectly cooked. All right, now there's no heat under here. I don't wanna overcook the bacalao. These vents are off, this one's on just to keep everything a little bit warm. Move it over to here, it's just resting now and we'll keep an eye on our next batches of potatoes. All right, it's coming together. We are almost at the finish line. I'm calling these fries done. The last batch of these fries, delicious fries. There we go, we just put them up here for a few seconds. Let's get a mixture here of our bacalao fries. Let's put the fries in. Oh, these are cooked perfect. These are exactly what I was going for. It's a little fry heavy, but that's okay. This makes a mess of food, but it is amazing. It's all super, super good. All right, so we get the rest of our fries in. I might save one or two for a little snacking. Like this one here. Oh, there we go. All right, get the rest of our bacalao in. All right, spread that around. That's right, a little bit of oil on there. That's all right, not gonna kill us, a little bit of olive oil. Spread those around. Now is a final garnish. Some nice spicy olives, that's a little unconventional. Olives are not unconventional, green olives, but these are a little spicy olives. So adding a little bit of jump, so to speak. And voila, look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Now let's get this into the house, get it consumed, Portuguese bacalao. Bon dia, bon noite, bon appetit everyone.